Hey, what's up traders? So I just wanted to record this video to talk about uh, what happened last night during our FOMC uh, because I think there's so much uh, that you can learn from uh, what has happened uh, last night. Okay, so um, last night was actually 10th of June. Okay, and that's when uh, there was the FOMC, right? Federal Open uh, Market Committee came together uh, to talk about the US economy. Okay, so... I've warned in uh, my other videos that you know uh, this kind of uh, high impact news tend to be very uh, difficult to trade, right? It is also when uh, price like to park at a important level such as uh, this level over here, right? This level here, right? It, it just you know park here and let you guess the direction. So hopefully uh, you watch that video, okay? If you, you haven't watched that video, uh, make sure you just check that video out after this, okay? But uh, let's talk about uh, what happened last night, okay? So you know that this is the important level and it's really not difficult to see why this is important as well because you have the recent high and uh, you have the 0 0.70 uh, round digit level which uh, I keep talking about, right? Uh, not just in... Uh, the other video but also in the um, forex market outlook video right 0 0.70 is a very strong level so what happened right what happened uh, during the FOMC the market just uh, just did this very nasty spike okay very nasty spike so what what does this mean let me just uh, draw it for you so what does this region means okay this region represents uh, a lot of things okay number one people who shorted here okay and put their stop loss chances are they put their stop loss here uh, they are whipped out, right? I hope you didn't do this. I hope you didn't short here and then, you know, put your stop loss above. Because if you did, then uh, you put, would have lost money unless you have a bigger stop loss, okay? So number one, <coughs> traders who shorted here on this very, you know, impulsive move down uh, would have been stopped out. Number two, okay, breakout traders. Traders who don't understand uh, FOMC, right? They don't understand the concept that uh, I teach you uh, in the video. Right, uh, they are going to go long. Right, hopefully, you also didn't go long. Okay, you didn't go long. If you go long, right, uh, you are in a red now. Okay, uh, you might or might not still be in a trade, really depends on how you trade. But bottom line is, if you went long here, you are in a red currently. Okay, so this is uh, your whipsaw. Okay, and yesterday was also uh, Wednesday, so you, you could expect a whipsaw Wednesday. Okay, another concept that uh, I talk a lot about uh, both in the Telegram channel as well as uh, in the books, uh, in the materials that uh, we created for you. Okay, so look at this, right? Uh, after this, what I want you to do is I want you to look at the chart and try to understand uh, what happened. Okay, so this is one example. And that's also why we went uh, short uh, this morning, right? Uh, in the morning Asia session, right? The time now is 11.13 uh, a.m., 11th of June, uh, just after FOMC. Okay, so normally after FOMC, the, uh, the trade will be very smooth. The market is more decisive. So you get cleaner movements. And it's also when uh, I like to trade. I like to be more aggressive right? because uh, the market has waited for the news. Now that the cat is out of the bag, right? uh, you can expect uh, institutional players to come in to commit to their position. Okay, so this is just one example. There are a ton of examples uh, because uh, most of this, you know, this pattern happened in a lot of currencies. So uh, I want to show you more pairs, but I don't want to cover you know, every single pair because uh, if I would do that, uh, then the video is going to last like you know, uh, one hour or so. So the next pair I want to talk about uh, will probably be Aussie Frank. Let's, uh, let's look at Aussie Frank. So you can see over here, it's the same thing. Can you see this long wig here? So what happens is that this pin bar here, okay, uh, a lot of traders, uh, you know, they shorted this, okay, just a moment. They shorted here thinking that, you know, uh, okay, uh, this is a downtrend, which I agree, right, agree, uh, but they didn't wait for the FOMC, you see. So what happens is that you have this very nice spike bar that uh, wiped out a lot of traders who uh, put the trade here, okay. So my advice to you if you're trading FOMC is uh, don't actually don't trade it's not advice uh, but if possible try to avoid but if you know you cannot help it you really want to trade then the next advice i have for you is to use a smaller position size right but have a wider stop loss okay have a wider stop loss so that uh, you don't get caught with uh, discount things you know like get stopped out by a couple of pips and then after that it goes in your direction 
Okay, so this is the other pair. Now, if you look at Aussie Yen, it's also the same thing. So you can see that uh, this pattern is a uh, recurring. This one again, right? This one very nicely. A lot of people think that uh, this is the high and then uh, price goes up. Let me show you. Look at this. Okay. So one more thing that, uh, one more trick, okay, I can teach you is so that uh, normally during the high impact news, the high and lows are very important. Okay. So uh, you see this very uh, white bar, very white bar. You want to take note of the, uh, the low and the high. Okay. If price goes on to break the high or low, then you know that uh, the movement is kind of uh, more solid, more concrete, meaning that uh, it's, it's more likely to carry on in that direction. So for example, you see you have a nice break and then you have a retest with uh, the, this candle high just testing the, um, this candle low. Okay, this is a bit advanced, okay? But the core idea is that uh, you want to take the, uh, the event itself, let's say it's a FOMC or let's say it's a, let's say it's a NFP, you want to look at where the spike high or spike low is and then you want to pay attention, okay? So let's assume, okay, this is not the candle, but let's assume that this is the NFP candle, let's assume, okay? Uh, you're going to take the low and you're going to take the high and you're going to watch the high, okay? So in this case, you can see that uh, it broke, it retests, it retests back again. So you can see how you can use a news event uh, to find out good levels to trade, okay? Uh, good levels to base uh, your analysis on, right? Or to take a position or take profit, okay? So uh, let me see if I can find you one more, okay? I'm sure I can find you a lot, but uh, just to want to overwhelm you with, uh, you know, I think Kiwi Dollar is, okay, same thing for Kiwi Dollar. Uh, actually, Kiwi Dollar, I don't need to explain too much. You see this candle over here? Okay, let me just uh, clear everything for you. Uh, you see this candle over here, this candle? You have a very nice spike high. So same thing like Aussie. Okay, I'll repeat it one more time in case I didn't get it. Okay, traders who are shorted here would have got stop out if they put their stop loss uh, just a couple of pips above. Okay, traders who have bought the breakout here would also be in the loss now. Okay, they may or may not uh, have realized the loss, but uh, they are in a red. Okay, so that is why uh, I always advise you not to trade in your F FOMC. Right? I mean, it's okay to not trade one day. It's okay to just wait. Right? You don't have to trade every day. You just need to find the best trade setups. Okay, in fact, uh, I have a confession to make. Right? Uh, normally, I, I don't like to trade so much. Uh, but because, you know, a lot of you guys, you guys want action, you guys want to trade, right? And some of you... Uh, you know, pay money to, to learn from us, to, to join our premium uh, signals. So sometimes we feel obligated to serve you. So we send out trades, uh, not because, uh, you know, like we want to trade, but because uh, you, you guys want to trade, right? So that's something that, uh, you know, to, towards like my own friends, I always tell them that, okay, if you must trade, right, try to just stick to, uh, you know, after the event itself. If, that, if this week, this Forex, uh, wait, trading week has a uh, high impact news. Wait for the news to happen, then you start trading, right? That's the that's the real advice I give to my friends. Uh, but for you, you know, as a subscriber, uh, especially if you paid money, uh, that's something that you know we, we kind of um, yeah, you know, and we, we want to make you happy, but at the same time, uh, we we don't want to be reckless in uh, how we trade. Okay, so that's the struggle that uh, we have. So hopefully, uh, you you have an insight as to uh the struggles of running a uh, Forex uh, signal, right? I still remember there was some time where uh, a subscriber wrote in saying that like, oh, um, why didn't I receive any trades even though it's only been like one day, right? Meaning that we didn't send out trades for just one day, right? He, he expected like five, 10 trades every single day. <laughs> so uh, had to educate him a bit. So hopefully uh, this educates you, right? So uh, I think uh, that's it for this video, okay? If you are new, you're watching uh, this channel for the first time, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, okay? Uh, make sure you download your free day trading guide. Okay, that will help you get started. Okay, uh, it will not teach you everything. We cannot teach you, you know, our like 15, 18 years of experience uh, in a PDF. That's not possible. Uh, but what we have done is we have give you a framework uh, to get started. Right, the framework will help you get started and, you know, cut through all the noise and bullshit that uh, a lot of uh, other YouTube channels have, right? Yeah, I'm sure you realize that uh, I like to speak straight with you. I don't like to, you know, come up with uh, things which, you know, hype you up and then, you know, 
not deliver, I promise you that you can make 1,000 pips the next day. Right? See tons of YouTube channels like that. Uh, I do not do this here. That's not our goal. Our goal is to serve you at the highest level. Okay? So uh, if you've got the value, make sure you check those out. Okay? Just, just look at the description. You should be able to get all this. Okay? So you, if you have any questions about uh, all this, you know, like concepts like this, uh, fake out here uh, please leave a comment below right uh, we love to connect with you uh, please share with us your thoughts uh, do you, did you benefit from me did you get stopped out you know uh, what did you learn or you know if you, if you have a question just leave it leave a comment down below okay we'll do our best to answer that okay if not that's it for this video thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video